Hi everyone, this is Truti Shah and I'm on a mission to make entrepreneurs and leaders more resilient. Welcome back to my Bridge the Gap video series, Self-Efficacy. The first time I became aware of this term was when I was speaking to an entrepreneur with reference to my book, The Resilient Entrepreneur. And, um, you know, this entrepreneur, for her, uh, she had a healthy, heavy dose of self-efficacy, which is what defined her success in a way. Self-efficacy is your belief in your ability to achieve goals and to overcome hurdles as well. Research has shown that leaders with high levels of self-efficacy are able to persevere better in the face of challenges. They take up more risks because they are aware of what they are capable of. And they also inspire tremendous amount of confidence in their teams as they lead their teams. If you have low self-efficacy, you may realize that you are not willing to take many risks, you are low on confidence, and you're constantly questioning yourself, and which, if you think about it, will not inspire much confidence in your team. So as a leader, you of course want to have high levels of self-efficacy. Developing self-efficacy as a leader, what does that look like? You are setting goals which are challenging, Number two, you are practicing a lot of self-reflection. Number three, you are seeking out feedback. And number four, you're learning from your own experiences. Leaders are not born with self-efficacy. People are not born with self-efficacy. You build it over a period of time by, you know, if you remember from one of my previous videos, I've talked about that being courageous. What does that look like? So when you have the courage, you build self-efficacy as well. So it's all interlinked if you think that and it's all a way for you to build your resilience. Some of the leaders, they swear by this ability. One of the most notable ones is Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group. He says, if somebody offers you an opportunity to do something and you don't really know how to do it, just say yes and then learn how to do it. Self-efficacy is as easy as that. Rather than going on a path where you're questioning yourself, you start being a little bit more assertive about the abilities that you have, that you worked so hard to build. So just say yes and then figure it out. Sheryl Sandberg, she has spoken on several occasions on the importance of self-efficacy in women leaders. She has said, believe in yourself and what you can do. You have the ability to learn, to grow and to do amazing things. So there you go, two notable leaders, I'm sure you've heard of them who believe in self-efficacy so much. And I'm sure even if people don't have the right terminology for it, what they essentially do is build that capability and the ability to trust themselves and to perform their actions based on the trust that they've developed. But in yourself, that's the most important part. That is self-efficacy. So here is my top tip for you. Try and understand what are some of the things which are keeping you from believing in yourself. Tackle that one at a time. And you will see your self-efficacy grow. Read books, speak with people, connect with leaders who've demonstrated self-efficacy and learn from them. The resources are all out there for you. Should you make the choice to build your self-efficacy? I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.